We haven't seen a good one of these in a while. My name is Philip Tarrant. I'm going to have a talk to you today about our 2000 model Audi S4. This series is called the B4. Um, and this car, this particular car, is an S4. So it's got the twin turbo 2.7 litre V6 engine. It's done 187,000 kilometres, but it's a particularly good one. Straight off, I can see it's got four keys, original keys to the car. It's got two remotes, the spare, and the fourth. The car, you know, for a 15-year-old car, seems to be in very good condition. Uh, the logbook isn't good. It's, it's incredible. It's the only way I can really describe it. I've never seen a 15-year-old Audi with a service book like this car. The person who owned it was a very fussy owner. He spent quite a bit of money on the car. It recently went to Audi, I believe, um, for its most recent service. All the tyres are in very good condition. The car in general is in, in good condition for its age. It's got a few little marks and things on it, as you would expect, but we haven't done anything to the car at all. Uh, the bucket seats are very good. The car sounds fantastic. I've just driven it. The air conditioning's cold. It's got plenty of power. If you're looking for one of these S4s and you're looking for a bit of a, a pocket rocket, you can't go past something like this, especially in the manual. There's so much nicer to drive. The Audi Allroad was offered with the same engine a couple of years later. Uh, but these were much better to drive. It's just come in this morning. Uh, they've got a full-size spare, which is great. I think it's, it's got a tow bar, which isn't connected at the moment. It's had tinted windows on it, which is a good thing. It generally means that the interior is in particularly good condition. The wheels are very good. If you're looking for an S4 and you want to buy a car which has been very well looked after, and you're not going to buy it and have you know, immediate bills for thousands of dollars for bits and pieces. We think this is the car for you. We'll have a quick look at this logbook because it's, it's certainly worth seeing. And I think really you need to see it to believe. Okay. Oh, service schedule. Sorry, they changed the picture on the front later on. Okay, wow. So the most recent service was in February 2015 at Audi Vartaman. And before that, it's gone to specialists. There's your timing belt at 148,000 kilometres. I understand that's a question that will be asked. And then before that, it went to a European specialist. So at one, we'll just look at the intervals, 187, 182. Time belt at 148, 133. It's very comprehensive. Mainly going to a dealer, possibly. Oh, a European specialist again. So it's car has been very well looked after. We think this car's very well priced. I'll put that in later. When we sell cars like this, they're never going to be the cheapest on the market, but they're usually one of the best available because we're very fussy with having log books, spare keys. We know there's no money going on the car or anything like that. The S4 came with the chrome mirrors. A lot of people in 2000, 2001, uh, put S4 badges on their cars and changed the wheels, but you can tell an S4, it's lower in its suspension. You've got the chrome mirrors, not to mention the performance. Uh, it's got the Recaro seats. There's a number of things you can see. These came standard with Xenon headlights as well, which back then was pretty special. But in conclusion, if you're looking for an S4, if you're looking for a powerful manual car you can have some fun with, possibly even take to the racetrack if you really wanted to, you can't go past something like this, especially at this sort of money. We think it represents excellent value. So we're located in Marrickville. Uh, we're actually called the Old Timer Centre. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.